<laughs> so, which language is the most beautiful and charming to you? Ooh, uh, French. Yeah, you're gonna say French. Euh, bah, je pense qu'on a beaucoup de chance parce que euh, les hommes sont. So I'm Nigerian. I speak Igbo. <laughs> My language is Igbo, and to me, it's beautiful. It's a boy in a tunnel, but I know. Malgia na bo winter. What about For you? me, I would say Portuguese. Portuguese. I think it's so pretty. Okay, então o António Variações é um cantor que teve o seu auge. Either Italian, actually, or French, because I'm also half French, so. Secondo me, per uno straniero, sì, è abbastanza complicata perché comunque. Maybe French. I feel like any language can be spoken. In... What about Italian? Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> French. French. <laughs> I like Korean. You like Korean? Yeah. Uh, Korean. I think I like French, my native language. <laughs> ah, me too. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Which language is the most beautiful in Asian countries? I don't know because I actually way. haven't properly heard like other Asian uh, languages apart from Korean. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it sounds bad, but they all sound very similar no, to no, me. No, no, no. We don't know. So I don't because we don't, I don't know spend enough. enough. Yeah, I don't spend enough time in Asia to mm. know. This is my first time in Asia, so oh. I don't know. I think maybe Urdu. Urdu. Wow, I, I don't even know how it sounds like. It's. Mujhe abhi abhi pata chala. Tum theek to ho? Main theek ho, lekin bahut mazurat chahti hu, Masali. Unexpected answer. <laughs> I like Korean a lot. It seems like there's more patterns, and at least, for example, the alphabet is much easier to yeah. learn. Yeah. So, so yeah, Korean. Probably Korean, Korean, Korean from, from what I've heard, at least. Okay. I have Vietnamese, but I think yeah, Vietnamese is very pretty. I think. Very pretty. Yeah. Việt Nam thì ta phải nói đến tạo dài. I think it's. Korean. Mm. Oh, I really like Korean. Korean is good. I like Korean. It wasn't too difficult to read or learn. So, mm. so you're le what learning Korean? Well, yeah. I minored in it in college, but it's dropped down mm -hmm. to like a lower level since like two years yeah. since I graduated. So we're trying so. to just pick it up here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can you distinguish between Japanese and Korean? Yeah, yeah definitely. What about I don't you? Think so. I haven't heard enough, unfortunately. Maybe. Like I can tell more differences between the people, how they look, oh. more than what I hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. You yes, hear I, them? I probably could by A this point bit? now. Yes. Yeah, I can. And do you think the Korean language is charming or not? Yeah, definitely. It's very different, especially from what we know on a regular. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's fresh, it's something new. But I say Korean, for me, it's a little bit aggressive. It depends on who is it speaking. I do. I oh. like the sound of it. Really? Yeah. It's like we were interviewing a guy before and he was like, Korean language is so aggressive. No, I feel like the Korean language out of all of like, when I think of like Chinese, Japanese and Korean, I think Korean has more of a, a softer tone to it. Oh, really? The vocabulary is very complicated. Oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of grammar. So you think it's hard? Oh, uh, yeah. Harder than French or not? Oh, I would French say is harder. <laughs> Maybe same level. Okay. The first time you saw Hangul, the Korean mm -hmm. uh, alphabet, what did you think about it? And mm -hmm. what does it look like to you? I mean, it just, because we're used to the alphabet, and so it was just something different. Kind of looked just like, like drawings mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, right? So it just, like just like learning the pronunciation of each character. Mm -hmm. It was something new. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. this is different from what I'm used to. And I feel like now, since we know like the characters, we're like, oh, I understand this. But like, I sometimes think like my other friends who don't speak like any Asian languages, I wonder like how it looks to them, yeah, like, if right? they can differentiate yeah. and things like that. But yeah, now it looks like regular. But before, I can't even remember like mm -hmm. what it didn't look like because now I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I just so I know what that it. says. I think yeah. it's beautiful. I think I see like little like twos or little like I don't know just I pick out little symbols that I recognize but it that is, don't make it is art it seems like it's art beautiful. it's um, squares square <laughs> like I feel like you if you just put squares on all of them it's it Korean. Would work, yeah. <laughs> like I met some people that tried to teach me and like I could never understand anything but they say it's easy it's for very answer. easy like and you can learn I, it in like one hour I think yeah and when I see the keywords in the phone or in the computer it looks like it's like way shorter than any other Mm -hmm. Alphabet, so mm -hmm. I think it's it's productive. I'd say mm -hmm. <laughs> it looked like it just symbols, absolutely no clue. But then in my free time at work, I started just learning, looking at different websites, trying mm -hmm. to just practice the pronunciation. And it's crazy how in two weeks I can, can more learn, or less yeah. like read. Obviously, like I said before, actually understanding what mm -hmm. it means is different because I believe that they switch their verbs and their sentence structure mm -hmm. is different in yeah, Korean it's different than, than in English or Spanish. Yeah. I think it's one of the easier alphabets from the Asian 
languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. I think so. It doesn't take a long to like yeah. learn it. Like one hour and you you can speak. Yeah. <laughs> Not speak, but at least read Korean. Yeah. 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 I think you look packed. Uh, yeah, compact. compact. Yeah, I agree, compact. I agree. So have you ever heard Koreans speak in English? And Sometimes, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, now I gotta how, how is it? be careful. I mean, it's like, oh, okay. They probably learned it like I learned Korean because mm -hmm. Korean is not my first language. So I'm like, okay, cool. They're like different levels too because sometimes you can like see them kind of struggling yeah. and they're like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. But once like, like they see a foreigner, they're like, oh my gosh, I need to like, speak it's English. English. I'm like, like, it's okay. Yeah, they, they feel the pressure. <laughs> yeah. No, mm -hmm. I feel like if you come to someone else's country, you should at least be able to try say some yeah. things because it's kind of selfish what? for you to come and speak English and expect them to speak nice. it back to you or then, understand. Lord. So far it's been oh, good. It's been I've amazing. heard that Koreans speak very good English and it's our first day so we don't have a whole lot of experience yet. <laughs> okay. But it seems, no, yeah. seems good. I've heard it seems really like everyone things. we've talked to definitely like has the basics which is more than we can say about what we know Korean. So mm -hmm. no it's very impressive. Okay. Nice. It's impossible. It's is just it? impossible. I, I I have not been able to speak so to someone in Korea in English. Oh really? In Every any time with way. young people, usually they are like like young people, and this is surprising because in, only in parties I've met people in Korea they speak English. What? It's is just it? impossible. I, I have not been able to speak to someone in Korea in English in Every time we way. People in Korea they speak English. <laughs> So actually they can speak, but mm -hmm. they don't speak because they're like, they're, when they study, it's like a super academic study. Oh, okay. So they cannot like talk to people and mm -hmm. feel comfortable while doing it. So that's probably why. But they understand, like if you talk to them, they will understand. Okay. okay. They just pretend they don't. <laughs> I think that just well depends enough. from like person the to person. person, right? Especially if you're in an airport or places where like they need more foreign mm -hmm. speak. I guess there are people who speak English. Yeah, but... there are. Most of them. Speak. I mean, they live in Korea. Yeah. They don't need to speak English, <laughs> right? It's very impressive. I have a lot of a lot of respect. I can already actually another the intern I'm with. She speaks. She's American and she speaks Korean fluently. And it just seems like it's such a hard language to learn too. The <laughs> other the other way around. I, uh -huh. I have a lot of Mexican friends that still to this day don't speak English very well. Mm. So to see Korean. So you people, think they can speak very well? Yeah. At least the, the people I've worked with have a very good strong mm. level of English. I think they're really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm very surprised that yeah. it's very English friendly. Really? Yeah. Yes. We were just speaking about this. Yeah. Did you expect this? No. No. I wasn't expecting yeah. it. <laughs> I think they're shy. They're yeah, just shy, pretty yeah. good, but they're really too shy to talk. Yeah. <laughs> right? They always tell me, no, my English is not good, but it turns out. Yeah, <laughs> but they can. They can. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, were you expecting this or? Oh no, I think I was expecting you exactly this, this level. level? Okay. Oh, not really English. <laughs> okay. yeah. uh, they really are afraid to not speak English well. It's, it's, you have to talk to them when they're drunk. When they're drunk, they can speak like even Chinese. <laughs> they, they can speak everything. So uh, how long have you been here? Uh, just, just like, got here, like, like two, a day. <laughs> wow. Just a day. We just arrived. So what's the most shocking thing about Korea? Think We've been here before. So nothing too crazy. It kind of gives New York City vibes. Okay. Cause so because we're used to like a lot of people on the street. Mm. So nothing too amazing. First weird. time I came here, the cleanliness of like the underground, oh, yeah. and, like the oh. subway. Oh, that's definitely. what like shocked me the most when I first. New like, York City subways yeah. are oh. not cute at all. <laughs> oh. So nasty. <laughs> New York City is so yeah, nasty. But it's nice here. It's yeah, nice it's here. very clean and like. It's just very convenient here. That's what I like most about Korea. Maybe just the infrastructure, like everything is really tall mm -hmm. and close together. All the buildings, a lot of people like in a smaller space mm -hmm. compared to what you see in the United States because mm -hmm. it's we have so much open space. What about this Starbucks? Because I feel there are Starbucks <laughs> everywhere. Oh, I've, I've seen them everywhere. Every corner. We, we saw, haven't gone seen inside. Three or but four, but we didn't go inside. Yeah, yeah they're but everywhere. We were surprised to see Starbucks. Yeah. Oh, so, oh there's so, so many 7 Eleven. I don't know, I don't know why yeah. I wasn't expecting yeah. that, but. <laughs> I'd say even if it's like really populated city, it's like really calm, chilled, it's always safe, it's always secure, and I love that of this country. I like it. And it's my last day, so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm just enjoying okay. a little bit Enjoy. over the city. It was my, it's my first time in Asia, modernization and yeah. the technology advancements. Yeah, it's very in, different in from city our cities, right? <laughs> completely impressive, and also the, the collectivist nature that there is in Korea, for example, the metro system, 
no one eats, no one drinks, no one makes oh, noise there. So much. Yeah. Impeccable, impeccable system. Yeah, so, the bus. Yeah, the bus just, just the too. sense of having consideration with other people's time is, yeah. is something that I've really enjoyed here. Okay. How long have you been here? About two weeks. One day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. first day. Yeah. So what's the most shocking thing? How affordable everything is compared to America. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you, girls. The interview is over. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. We're very kind. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.